What? Eye image is pretty wild. You know, out of context, of course. Oh, so this is the dude. Like, he's gonna be the... The circus of value, I guess, for this game. And he's not gonna sell me anything I want anytime soon, so... May as well... Do you appreciate a lady? May as well get some money out of it. Well, I agree that it's over the top, but I also think for the sake of this being as horrifying as they like to put it on the same terms with Bioshock, they probably had to go this far over the top. Oh god. Uh. Uh, immersion ruined. Oh wait, it's on the gun, it just doesn't block the light on the screen. Number keys, quick switch between vigors. Oh. Nice. I would have assumed they switch between, um, guns. So that's my bad. What in the hell are we looking at here? Gear's special clothing grants you unique abilities. You can only wear four pieces at a time, one per type. Manage your gear from gameplay menu. This is interesting. Think he might still stream Snake Pass? Yeah, sure. Deadly Lungers. Melee strike range increased by three times. Cool. Do I auto equip? Since I only have the one. What was the... It was, oh, right. Yeah. That's kind of interesting that they would just now show you that that's even, like, a, an element to the game. I like that idea. I think these games work better in some ways the more RPG-like they become. I think that's kind of the strength of them is it's, it's on the atmosphere and you know, the tactile feeling of the game. The storytelling, and then try that up with a little bit of the old RPG 1-2. And you got a good formula for success. Seems to be how they've handled it so far. Ooh. That, uh, looks really bad. That bump mapping is, like, awful. Even from a slight distance, it still looks super grainy and weird. Inconsistent. It's got that, like, rubberized look to it. The resolution just isn't high enough. It's funny when it's right up against other stuff that looks so much better. That's gotta be the worst texture in the game so far. <laughs> I wonder what happened with that one. Like, I bet there's a story behind that one texture. If I worked on a game like this big budget and all with this big fanfare, after it came out, I'd be like, guys, look, I know we're done, but like, I gotta fix that texture. It's gonna drive me absolutely nuts if that texture does not get fixed. <laughs> Oh, is this a two-gun game? Do I only get the two? Like, can I only hold two at a time? Am I gonna be streaming much longer? I don't know. Just kinda going. I'm enjoying this enough. I'll probably play it for a bit more, yeah.
What? Ew. Jesus. Is that really necessary? I forgot how, like, violent these games were sometimes. It, I guess just with a bit of time between the first Bioshock and now, it's just... I don't know, I assumed they were less... graphic. We went so quickly from heavenly to hell. What is... happening? Yeah, I guess they want me to create a, an explosion. Oh, he's in the room, okay. I thought he just teleported away and this was just story setting. Oh, this guy's tough. Is this Vim? That's a hell of a thing. Oh, it's the crow bottle. Press to a murder of crows. Hold and release to create a nest trap. Summon murderous crows to stun and damage enemies, or hold to create a crow nest trap. Enemies take more damage during crow attacks. Oh, I knocked his hat off? I love that they're just carrying fucking huge pineapples on them for some reason. Very forlorn music. Apparently can't turn it off either. All the other ones you could. Stage setting for a boss fight. Seems good. So, like, was that guy a real person, or <laughs> why could he teleport? I guess these vigors can do some wild shit, huh? Oh, more gear already. Burning Halo, 70% chance that a melee target is set ablaze. Victim takes 300 damage over 4 seconds. Sure. I mean, I don't have one, so, yeah. Oh, are they, like... Equal opportunity racists. <laughs> Fuck. I know the irony of that statement isn't lost on me either. Wait, how do I get all these upgrades? I want all the upgrades. I guess I probably have to find an upgrade machine or something for him. The false shepherd, this anarchist, is either a Marauder dwarf or a French man with a missing left eye. No more than four foot and nine inches. No more than four foot nine inches. When the heck do I find Elizabeth? I figured that would be sooner than this.
probably go in there right about right about now, I would think. She's about the only thing that I knew about the game at all, like, from watching trailers and stuff. I think I saw the scene where you find her, or, like, something that happens right afterward. There was, like, some kind of weird-ass dragon or something. That kind of intrigued me a bit. I didn't really understand what I was looking at, though, so I could be misremembering that. really surprised based on some of what I've heard people say about this in the past they thought the game was like pretty bland not really getting that vibe at all this game's actually pretty solid I'm wondering if there were I don't know undertones of oh we're leaving an area I keep getting confused when the door does that um that they just wanted to kind of avoid some of the subject matter, which I wouldn't necessarily blame them. And maybe they were being a bit more dismissive than necessary toward the game. I mean, I don't like the content of, you know, the themes behind it, but at the same time, you know, doesn't mean awkward things aren't worth discussing as well. Oh, the story kind of falls apart later. Ah, that's a shame. So far, it seems super solid. People wanted more Rapture. And some people think the story gets better later. Okay, so then I should just play it and figure it out what I think on my own. That's fine. I like games with dissenting opinions. It means there's something, there's a conversation to be had. So what does this guy want to do? He wants to upgrade stuff. Causes the corpses of crows and murder victims to become crow traps. Or... Adds mini clusters for greater effect. Well, they're both too expensive, but... Nice to know they exist. And let me know when this guy starts selling health upgrades or gun upgrades, but I don't think that's his deal. There's bulletproof glass. I love her just straight up just fighting Nazis now. That's that's good stuff. Gunplay is very punchy. It's very quick. Played a lot of FPS games, but I like the feel of this one. It's got a surprising amount of tactile feel to it. Which I'm, I know was by design, but like, I just didn't expect it to be quite like that. Uh, I know, I want... Uh, okay, that one, I guess. I don't remember the gunplay being quite as large a focus in Bioshock, is what I'm trying to say. But this feels like it was designed around the gunplay more so. Passionately reciprocated achievement. For firing my gun oh so well. Oh my god. I turned that person into a skeleton. This is actually making me want to play the new Wolfenstein again. Wait, are we actually playing Ring Around the Rosie right now? How did you do that sneaking? That was some fantastic sneak work you did there. What I've seen of the other games haven't played Infinite is a lot more focused on guns, a lot less on the vigors. Where? 
How are you hiding so well? Die. Oh. Uh, AI is a little silly sometimes, but you know. That happens in pretty much everything. Alright, when do I get that shotgun? Let's hook that up. Gotta be soon. Yeah, right? As racist as the society is, it's nice it's military is gender inclusive. That's a hell of a statement that, yeah, that they actually thought of that. <laughs> it's really weird. Maybe they're just so united in their racism that their sexism just didn't have time to be fruitful and multiplying. <laughs> Oh, a banana for scale. That's a big-ass coin. Or a... small-ass banana, I guess. Kind of destroys the whole banana for scale thing, if you can say that. Hey, not from America. How's it going? Thanks for coming by. We're, uh... having a nice... grand morning of shooting racists. A hell of a thing. You're the same people again, right? Didn't we just have you? Yeah. Or did I just go in a circle somehow? No, I didn't. Why would they put them in and out? Unless maybe you go in and out of this building a lot later. We're sorry to say that Monument Island is off limits. Use the skylines. Workmen should proceed to the island by means of the skylines. The skylines, huh? Those things them coppers came riding in on back by the lottery. I like that I get to be a marble for a minute. That's Goodbye, pretty cool. Oh! <laughs> Holy fucking hell. Can you imagine just being attached by your wrist? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm gonna light him on fire each time. Guile, go home and be a family man. Yeah, I guess so. Whatever. What? I shot him cleanly in the fucking face. I guess he takes two shots now. Or his helmet somehow caught it. Mind the gap. Stand clear of the closing door, please. Yeah, get trashed. Oh look, I picked shield again. What do you know? Because why wouldn't you want to have infinite HP? Why did I get this trash? I shouldn't have gotten this trashed. Oh, good try on the skyline. I can't see where I'm going. I'm so drunk. Wait, I'm back here? I'm so drunk I went backward. How does this work? Yeah. Oh, does this just go in a circle now? Or do I jump off up here? Ah, this is the, s the secret. Oh! Got the shot on the go. Hey, rating this game for an FPS? Uh, really good. Like, 8-9 kind of category right now. I've been told it might drag later on. We'll see. 
Um, by most accounts, I should be dead tired, but I'm still enjoying the game even though I'm pretty tired. <laughs> Why did I get this trashed? Anyone who got trashed, I know, right? And the Lord saw the wickedness of man. Zachary was great. Hale Cumsock. And he repented he had made man on the earth. He's so confident. Rain. Forty days and forty nights of the stuff. And he left not a thing that walked alive. You see, my friends, even God is entitled to a do-over. And what is Columbia if not another arc? For another time. Can I not? I want to steal his binos, man. Can't hit him with this freaking pistol now. That was way too many shots. Well, thankfully my shield kind of took all of that. Can I not? Ah, there it is. I don't know, I saw those boxes. I was like, there's probably a way I can get up there. I like that they have sort of meaningful ways of rewarding you for exploration. Like that gear thing, I really didn't expect to be a thing. And that's like probably the coolest thing they've got going on so far. Custom RPG style, unique loot. Up above. Somehow I get some elevation, I could probably reach it. Hmm, I have an idea about that, maybe. I don't know why I keep thinking one of these doors is going to be open, and they all have freaking gates up. <laughs> I'm getting into that mash F habit, though, of walking around mashing on everything. I don't know if that's my favorite thing, but it's, I guess it's really not that big a deal either. Clear him out. Where are you coming from? Oh, hey. Dude. <laughs> he just got some divine intervention from Samuel Jackson in the, the Pulp Fiction scene there. You'd, you'd rather did you didn't do that, to be honest. <laughs> Getting closer to me is only worse for you. As it turns out. The plot is so complicated. So far, it's, uh, seems fine. I was playing a game right before this. Oh, what is this? Fit as a fiddle, when revived, recover full health. So if I pick this up and take it, I can't, like, switch, right? It's just, you have new boots and those are them. But yeah, right before this, I was playing a game that was... Pretty tough to follow, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, I don't have boots yet. I only have whatever this counts as. Melee and head item. You can switch later when you're getting new stuff. No, I mean, like, if I pick this up, it's not like it goes in my inventory and I can pick between them whenever I want, right? If I get a second one, it takes over the spot of the one I just had, and that's all you can really do with it. And then the last one you had is lost. See, since I only- I don't even have a slot yet for that one, it doesn't matter, but I mean, if it was replacing one... It's like a permanent replacement. You can. Take all the gear you can swap whenever- Oh, I misunderstood how they phrased it then. My bad. Well, I like your way a lot better than the way I thought it was. So I guess I'm- very appreciative of that.
The soundtrack has been pretty good at jumping in whenever things start get going, getting going. Um, it's very kind of quietly atmospheric and tense in moments like this. And then as soon as the action kicks up, it's right there along with it. Oh, strike, dismount, lock on target. I didn't realize there's a lock on while I'm on this. Or does that just mean aim down sights? It might mean that. I actually didn't... Stand down. And low. With flaming I, sword and the wings of angels. I didn't think Watch you could have free control on those things the whole time. So that's a nice surprise, too. Dang, Nick, how you never play this? Just never got around to it. And then I heard, like, mediocre things about it, and I was just like, alright, well, let's just kind of, like, give this some distance, I guess. Distance gave way to several years, and now here we are. Alright, what's the story here? Do I just cap them all, or...? Guess not. You want me to stand in here with all of them so they open fire on me like an execution squad, huh? Whoa, I feel like we're playing Mist. Am I supposed to be going up at the moment? I probably am. Now that the barbarians are at our gates. You don't know me, pal. You ask for my help. Prophecy is my business, Mr. DeWitt. As blood is yours. You know why these men will die for me? Because I have seen their future in the glory. And hence they are content. What brought you to Columbia, Booker? Booker? Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt? Oh, that's a hell of a pendulum. This will end in blood, Wait. Then again, it always does with you, doesn't it? It always ends in blood, Booker. Jesus. You've come to lead my lamb astray, but thy crook is bent, and thy path is twisted. twisted. Go back to the Sodom from which you came! I'm not a super huge fan of the... the way they're parsing the story as if it's sort of a amnesia trope. I mean, it's not, but from our perspective, we don't know his backstory, so it may as well be. And it feels like all of the details that are relevant to the story making sense are being purposefully Come hidden on. from us. Holy shit. Oh, this is like uncharted moment right here. Where am I? Oh. Good AI. <laughs> Gotta find the controls to take this thing to Monument Island. Is there something wrong with that? I'm not saying it like there's something wrong with it, but it is a little bit tropish. Uh, as far as storytelling goes, you know, it's... I wouldn't say it's a faux pas, but it's like... It's a little bit of a minor cliche, I would say. I think you can have your best storytelling when you're not really holding the power over the viewing audience. Like, the the character that's in it is at least somewhat on equal footing as the person who's following the story. But I understand. I mean, you do that kind of thing specifically to create a moment later where many things are revealed all at once. You know, I'm not that naive that I don't know that. 
I'm just saying it's not my personal favorite way to set that up. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Or am I? No. Probably not. Okay. I'm sure I can get this thing going. The Lord forgives everything. But I'm just a prophet. I'm just Santa. So I don't have to. Amen. Amen. Uh. Amen. Where am I going, though? Oh, over here, probably. Did you not? It won't grab it. What the f It just kept missing it. Yeah, I guess. So close that I missed twice. I promise, by the way, that I, I was pressing spacebar on the prompt. I don't really know what happened there. <laughs> it's just kind of silly. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're just a machine guy. What's going on down there? That's like a lot of detail for a place you're never supposed to go to. I love value! Not sure why I keep going talking to this guy. He never has anything I want. This guy might have something I want sometimes. Except it's too expensive. Not really sure where I'm supposed to get all this extra money. I thought I was doing pretty okay for secrets so far. For exploration and all. Although maybe it's like a Hollow Knight situation, and I don't even know how off I am yet. I get 20 hours into the game. This is probably not even 20 hours. I think it's like a 10 hour game. Get halfway through it and realize, oh, these are the tells for the secret walls that I just didn't ever see. You can use your powers on the guy and it gets cheaper. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. I thought he just gives you money. Which, also, I'm not sure why I'm not doing that either. They got it locked up in this place. Dude, crossover, Bioshock Infinite, and The Last of Us. Did you just see that grass grow? Oh! <gasps> the power to grow grass dynamically and ungrow it at will. Now that is what it's like being a superhuman. Grow the grass. Oh, let's, uh, let's ungrow the grass. Maybe we'll grow the grass again here. Grow the grass. Yeah. That is an interesting way that they chose to do the level of distance. Like, is it really that system resource consuming that they wouldn't just leave that at that distance on Ultra? They're just planes. They're just planes with sprites on them. With, like crisscross patterns. It looks really bad when they grow up in front of your eyes like that, and it's really obvious, too. That's a, an odd artistic decision that I really don't get at all. Grass is super intensive? I don't think it is. I think you are incorrect, sir. Or madam. They grow up so fast. Um... Ah! I was like, do I have to hack that? <laughs> oh yeah, there is no hacking in this one, is there? Seat of the Prophet shall sit on, uh, sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. Wait, is that a comma? Oh no, that's a period. There's one more line, like, under the fold.
Yeah, five years old, not ten. It's a damn good looking game. I'm a pretty harsh critic when I when it comes to this stuff, and I think it looks really good. It's got its style, it sticks to it. It doesn't derivate, like, hardly at all. The quality level is consistently very high. Except for the animations. <laughs> Some really janky-ass animations. But the art is really solid. Oh, okay. Paint. This would be really handy for, um, doing photo shoots for, like, eBay items. Because you could just chroma key out the background and then put it up against any surface so you could be, like, do photo shoots on anything. Although, if you have a slightly re reflective surface, you'd rather have white. Smell the flowers, sweet prince. What's up, slot hammer? How's it going? I'm getting Skype or uh, Steam messages now. That is pretty good looking cloth, actually. Draped cloth is very difficult to do on a poly mesh. And check it out. I think each one of these is separately modeled. Wait, no, I think this one might be trans or um, reflected horizontally. I mean, they're a bit blurry, but that's really just the texture work. The modeling of them, though, is pretty solid. Even kind of holds up a bit if you get a weird angle at it. Dude, well done. Well done. You know, I call out a lot of shortcomings, but I gotta, you gotta call out the good stuff, too. And I know this is largely completely irrelevant to 90% of the people watching, and I'm sorry for that. But I do have a special place in my heart for people who care enough to model details that small. Okay. On we go. What is this weird picture? With <laughs> the scorch marks on the carpet, that's nice. Probably just leave that alone, huh? Some kind of transformer generator things? What is this weird picture? What's this? Yeah, I know. That's what I was just saying. Why is there a picture of Michael Myers here? Like, shot in meme angle. Oh, 72 hour quarantine. You gotta do a 72 hour live stream if you go in there. This is the PUBG section of our quarantine area. Wait, what? Oh, I guess I got that out of the desk. <laughs> I just started mashing F. I was like, money? No. Oh. Um, siphon passive, transpose one, two, or three. I don't know what we're doing yet. Right. No, I follow that that has period blood on it, and I follow that that's... Poetry book. Why are we electrocuting these things? Hang on. Not totally through with this yet. Maybe I just don't need to do that?
What in the hell is going on here? <laughs> Are we making Alma from fear? Is that the goal? Dude, I'll tell you what though. Oh, fuck. Do you see that? Do you see that? What the hell are they doing to her? They got a solid gold microscope. As Austin would say, let's go! You could do so much good gold science with this. It's not brass. Don't tell me that. Oh, it just opened because I walked near it. I thought, like, an SCP anomaly walked out of this box. Why did I come in here? This is a terrible idea. It is not brass. Never tell me it's brass. Wait, could there be? Oh. Thought maybe there was an on top of this and I could sneak up and get a super cool potion or something. I really thought a ghost walked out of that room. What the heck is going actually on here? Oh, is Elizabeth like a super weapon or something? I'm getting shades of, like, racist version of Umbrella Corpse. And by corpse, I mean core. It just fits so nicely when it's a game about zombies and you can call them corpse. Okay. Those are just chairs knocked over, no big deal. This is the most disturbingly large tripod I think I've ever seen in my life. I guess it's gotta be really large to uh, stabilize such a big reel-to-reel. -reel. Just out of curiosity. I gotta know. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, that breaks my heart a little bit. Look, I'll grant you that my silhouette doesn't appear on the screen. I shouldn't have to grant you that, but I will. You made up for it a little by putting it on the dynamic self-shadowing on the gun. But the fact that the projector doesn't give way to light beams through the other side when shot, that's just depressing. They've been watching her. I guess we'll go electrify some shit for no reason. I choose Teddy. What? Huh. Did that Teddy just turn into meat? What? Wait, was that meat to start? Oh, I don't really know what to make of that one. Saying there's a film around? Did I walk right past it? Probably walk right past it. Sorry. It probably wasn't back this far. I love the little ghost flying around my hand. It's a ghost hand.
Oh, the film projector. Oh, I didn't even realize I could use it. Oh, she's a code cracker. Dude, are the Nazis gonna use her in World War II? Did she invent the Enigma? Okay. Not sure that told me all that much, but I guess I'm glad I watched it. <laughs> 